first day of pads, uh, what, do you, what, what do you think it meant for those guys kind of get out there and actually really try to hit somebody a little bit? Today? Well, you know, we, we're still kind of going the same tempo as far as a lot of things, but it really allows you when you have pads on and it's individual technique drills, uh, tackling, uh, blocking, getting off blocks, a little bit more banging up front. So it's closer, you know. We'll, we'll never, we'll, we'll never be able to simulate a real game because we're, you know, we don't play each other. And, uh, you know, the quarterback's never going to be live for us, at least not the first or second team guy. So, uh, but that's about as close as we can get it while also keeping everybody healthy. I've seen a, a couple of guys seems like they've been changing positions. How much of that are, are you really trying to just learn these guys, like Devin Glenn, Trey Scott, guys like that? There's a few guys that we moved. Uh, just because we're with depth purposes and we thought it need, might be a better fit for them. Uh, you know, there's going to be, a, there, there might be one or two more that we move before the end of spring ball, but I really wanted to keep them in a, a position they're comfortable with so they have an opportunity to compete, you know, this spring. And uh, then if we're going to make any moves, the majority of them will occur after spring football is over. Your your nickel guy. Do you are you looking more for a, a, a safety type guy that could play in the box a little bit, or are you looking for more of a corner guy that can cover uh, a, a, as far as that nickel? Yeah, it depends on the team we're playing. If they're they're more of a pass team, that guy will probably have a little bit more corner skill. If, you, if they're a run team, you know, they're spreading you out, and, and, uh, probably be a little more of a safety guy. But you know that guy's got to be able to do both. You know, it's turned into more of a more of a corner. Mm -hmm. Type skill rather than safety type skill. You're off for me. What do you, as coaches, how much are you guys going to evaluate? What, what uh, well, a coaching? bunch of the guys are uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, going to be. Uh, I know I, I'll be moving, yeah. so uh, okay. a bunch of the coaches are using this week to to move their families, mm -hmm. move out of their house, all that kind of stuff. Uh, some of the coaches are staying here. A few of them have already moved, mm -hmm. so everybody's a little bit different. All of the offensive linemen are in place. That's your coaching philosophy. Yeah, we've always done that. I think they've always done it here too. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've always done that. Most most places do that. They, they take more shots from the side than anybody else. And uh, you know those guys are a little big, so it's a little bit more protection. Who were the two walk-ons that made it on the roster? Who were the two walk-ons that made it on the roster when they tried? Boy, uh, Frank Thomas. Okay. And the other name eludes me right now. I remember Frank Thomas because he's one of my favorite baseball players. <laughs> right. um, Donnie Lewis had a nice interception on yeah. the first play of the 11-on-11. The 11 11. I mean, obviously it's early, but what did he do? He's, he's, got, he's got some ability. Mm -hmm. He's got to do a good job of getting him to stay over the top. I talk to these DBs all the time about the most important leverage is over the top leverage. But he's got all the tools. You know, He's got great length, great speed, loves playing football. You know, he's like